How are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be doing our last installment of a S7300 series PLC's analog card. And the specific analog cards, obviously there's other types of analog cards in there, but more or less the principle of I'm hoping I've been covering most of it, so it's more or less gives you an idea how that works. So, but the last installment of today is going to be about a TC thermocouples. That's the ones we're going to be working on today. So, as usual, we're going to do the configuration of the card, have a look at the wiring, I have a look at the full blown uh, things that we need to know and how and where. And then we're going to be jumping on the TF portal and checking out the readings and see what we're getting. Obviously, the TC thermocouples, obviously, you probably have seen all over the ranges how they are, there's all different types of ranges for TC thermocouples, there's KJ, uh, there's, there's quite a lot, I can show that in a minute. So the particular one we're going to be using is the K uh, thermocouple and this thermocouple is going to be ungrounded. So I'm going to show you in a minute how do you find out if your thermocouple is grounded or not. And by knowing this information, it really it will determine how the car, thermocouple will be wired within the PLC. So uh, that's very crucial. That's what you're going to be checking out today. So yeah, and don't forget to check out all the videos we already made for S7300 series PLC. We covered quite a lot and obviously there's still a lot to come. We've got a lot of cards and trust me, there's, there's a lot, a lot of cards. And uh, I will be, this is going to be, uh, for the time being, for now, this is going to be a little bit of a pause for S7300 PLCs because I'm uh, working again on different projects. So I'm going to be jumping a little bit on the Schneider product for a, uh, a short time period, so uh, but we will be returning back uh, to S3, S S three hundred series S seven three hundred series PLCs. I keep forgetting that there's a S seven after saying the start. So yeah, we will we will return back to you because I said there's a lot to uncover. S S S is depending on how, what kind of things I work. I usually bring you guys along on what I do and what I test because because obviously as you probably know I'm in a, uh, a buy sell uh, buy and resell business. So uh, often I have to check a lot of different things make sure that the uh, product that uh, my customer is getting it is uh, up to satisfactory, uh, up, up to scratch and fully working and do not disappoint them. That's pretty much what we're going to do in the next video is my next product that I'm working on. So yeah, anyway, uh, that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are. So uh, again, this is our card we're going to be using now. We're not going to be using any of this because this was not really set to do uh, the uh, DC type thermocouples. So uh, we're going to be using a channel one. And the, this is my thermocouple right in here. So the first thing we're going to check is, as you can see, my thermocouple in here is uh, showing. Is you know, so Hopefully you can see that. It's going to be, ooh, going to go a bit closer. It says it's a K type right down here, and also it says underground. This is a very cheap thermocouple, there's nothing too great about it, it's just a, a, a basic thermocouple. So, and uh, the first thing what we need to do, we need to determine if you don't have, because my one says ungrounded, so I sort of know that my temperature probe is ungrounded. So, but if the, if you don't have uh, the label saying on it is ungrounded, because it makes a difference how you wire it within uh, uh, within these cards. So uh, let me put the meter on it. So to, to measure if it's grounded or not, if you t if you grab the end of your uh, of your uh, uh, thermocouple and put it on any of the uh, any of the points, and uh, if it would be a uh, grounded, you will have literally uh, there would be resistance, and if it's ungrounded, there was no resistance. So as you can see, my one is ungrounded, so uh, I have infinite resistance. So uh, basically, it's a difference between how. Uh, the the inner part of this actual thermocouple in there is done. So uh, grounded ones will will the 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 wire cables will be the joint cable inside the thermocouple will be touching the actual head itself. It's more or less for a faster faster reaction to temperatures and things like that. And uh, my one in there obviously is not uh, uh, grounded, so his response time is much much slower. I want to say much slower. It's, it's fairly fair amount slower. So uh, yeah, that's the difference. So uh, and the reason we really want to know if it's grounded or not, uh, there is our. Uh, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. This is the the wiring diagram that we are going to be working. As you can see, this is the wiring for the grounded one. As you can see, there's a thing called mana and compensation. There's a joint joint together. So mana needs if it is if it is not non grounded like mine non grounded. So you do need to connect all the minuses to mana. 
So he even says, uh, I had the paper, paper somewhere down here to sort of give you a better, better explanation. Uh, we'll be right back. So there is a there is a piece of paper and sort of gives you a better explanation. So an interconnection of a mana m, uh, m minus and mana is prohibited when using grounded thermocouple. So it's very crucial that you understand which thermocouple you're using. So this is pretty much giving you explanations. It's because N E J K L. These are the thermocouples this card supports from when it comes down to TC series. So uh, and so yeah, and as you can see down here, it even says they interconnect m minus and mana when using non-grounded uh thermocouples my one is not grounded so uh have we done that so yeah and when it comes down to wiring it is uh, very straightforward you know uh first thing what we need to do is obviously for this specific card we need to make sure that we come down here in the back and we change to whatever we are reading obviously the newer cards the 1500 series uh, no longer have this but for the older cards here we go so to make sure that a in our case is this guy in here it is for uh, thermocouples so uh, do make sure that is the case Man, more, more or less when I say thermocouples it, it's it's for millivolts because that's what thermocouples all about is all about is a change in millivolts so um, so I haven't done that so yeah so what we're doing here so uh, let me just where's my yeah, so uh, we'll, let's go a little bit uh, that's actually fairly close I think so we should be able to see it so uh, the third combo is going to have a little bit uh, usually with some form of red on it and then you will have a, a white on it so you just one's going to be white and it's because the, the, the reason the, the difference is because of the, the sort of displays which is plus and which is plus is a minus but again if you put a, if you don't have the colors in there just uh, you will you will know when you've been a couple of around that your temperature should be going opposite way so you should pretty much know see that you, you need to change around so it goes the correct way when it warms up or all cools down so as you can see channel two and a three so that's exactly what we're going to be doing in here so using uh, this type this type of uh, connection up here so uh, two and a three and as you can see down there i also have a connection to 10 and 11 which joins up to mana so and i also uh, 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 connected up a channel four and a five too because I want to uh, use a uh, basically put a link on it if you want to use diagnostics which I do so uh, that's what uh, that's why that little uh, cable down there is basically I just closed off that channel so basically uh, it's, it's providing uh, the reading in there obviously it's not the thermocouple reading but it just uh, shows that the, it, it sort of lies to the card that there is a thermocouple so in our case so here we go so that's how we wire in this thermocouple within uh, this specific card so uh and don't forget that this card needs to be powered which is terminal uh, 1 and 20 one is plus 24 and and 20 is minus 24 it's going to has to come from a different power supply so make sure the card is powered as well so i haven't done that hopefully that makes a sense if it doesn't make sense do comment below and say that well my friend i didn't understand something things like that but hopefully that makes sense so let's jump on the tr portal and get that get that reading done and see what we can get out of it Alrighty, so here we are. So the, the first thing what we're going to need to do is uh, set our card up to make sure that we are uh, reading what we are telling it to supposed to be read, right? So uh, go double click on our card in here. So the first channel, we're going to be working with group channel 0 and 1. Remember from the previous videos when we did it, so you, if you want to use a guide diagnostics, like I said before, you have to make sure that both channels are used. Otherwise, diagnostics will be picking up there's a problem. And I, what I did, I literally put the inset of the wire across the second channel. And I'm going to show you in a minute what kind of reading I get out of that. So, uh, as you can see, I already have set up that uh, first channel up for a uh, uh, measuring. So, uh, the, I'm going to be using, let's see, double click on that, one. I'm going to be using, it says, you can see uh, you have RTD, TC, 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 and it sort of gives you the options. And uh, if you remember, in the beginning of the video, when I was going through the paperwork, I'll show you the, what each thing means. So, because we are going to be, uh, we are using a, a internal uh, compensation, so we're going to be using uh, IL, uh, and because we're using mana, that means internal compensation. So, uh, we are going to be uh, IL, and also we're going to be uh, using a, a, a linear range. So, uh, because that's the range of temperature we are working is in, it is very linear. So, uh, so that's pretty much that. And obviously, once you've done that, if the first thing is always going to pop up, it's okay. But if you see down here, this is your uh, uh, N E J L N K. 
These are all temp uh, temperature approach types you can use. Pretty awesome, I like that. This is said, this card, the 7K F02 is so, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, universal, that's, that'd be the right word for it. So once you've done that, then you obviously, we are gonna be using the move instruction in here. So as you can see now, then my IW272.p, uh, 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 remember, the, these specific analog cards, they are peripheral addressing, so do we need to put a P in front of it when we write up the address, so don't forget that as well. But again, we, we, we've, we've done this before in a previous video, so we're going to talk a bit more about it. So, uh, and also there's a link in the description below when you want to read up about the peripheral addressing. And also don't forget all the manuals and everything that you would need and uh, all the paperwork, the wiring diagrams, and everything is all in the description below. So uh, once we've done that, so that's that, that's set up, that's set up. Uh, let's let's pump it in. So uh, uh, so basically now you basically once you've done all these changes, you need to make sure you send all this configuration inside CPU so CPU understands what he's doing. So what what was pretty much what is he working with? So there we go. That's done. Thank you. So, and the next thing we're going to do is just going to go straight into, I call it Mr. Glassy Man, but it's monitoring. Mr. Glasses. So let's see what we can, uh, what our temperature probe is reading. At the moment, it's reading 25.4. Uh, my thermocouple is type 2, which it's, uh, it's um, what they what they call the, the range itself, as, 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 as what it calls error. It's uh, plus 2.5 degrees, plus minus 2.5 degrees. So uh, my, my, my work is roughly by 22 and a half degrees. So it's roughly within uh, that range. And also the thermocouple was just literally sitting next to the power supply. And it, because remember, my thermocouple is un, uh, non-grounded. Uh, so it's, it's, it's uh, thermal transfer is a lot slower. So it takes him, uh, it will take him a while to get the temperature, but this, but this, this reads about right. So this, this, this reads about right down there. So it was about 25. 0.4 degrees and again I have a very cheap crude thermal couple so I wouldn't expect to be any any perfect uh, perfect readings if you know what I mean so yeah and that's the range as you can see this channel in here which is a 27 uh, 274 IW274 which is this tag in here if it pops up you see 274 in here and that's pretty much what the full wire uh, connection because remember if you said do check up there's some really cool videos you can see how really thermal couples work so do check up on it as you can see down there. My that wire is sort of giving me 395 degrees. But as you can as, as you understand now, so that gives me a full diagnostics. And as you can see in here, let me just uh, go on that. What we're gonna do in here, we're gonna put a hand on our timer couple. Oh. So uh, here we go, we're just warming it, warming it, warming the couple couple up, and as you can see. Temperature will start rising slowly but surely. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm inducing quite an extra temperature in there. So uh, yeah, so that's our, our thermocouple. And also, if you uh, like, I showed in the last video, what we're gonna do, we are going to remove one of the wires. So in case something happens to your thermocouple with this 7KF, you have a fantastic piece of diagnostics. So. So as you can see already, my, on my card, the red light has a popped up and a reading has a disappeared. So uh, what we're going to do in here, we're just going to take the camera window a little bit down. We're going to quickly check up on our diagnostics. Obviously, you need to make sure you are online to uh, be able to see these diagnostics. So yeah, that's, that's the key. So and, and then we're going to go into channel diagnostics, as you can see analog input wire is broken so and this messages can be displayed within your HMIs or whatever that is we're going to check that out probably in the future so that ladies and gentlemen will conclude these two analog cards I had a lot of fun with them it's a, it's a very interesting to learn and understand how they work uh, we're going to be moving on now into our, our next uh, challenge and we'll be coming back to S7300 series in the future because there is still so much to cover. So that ladies and gentlemen will do. Hopefully this is helping you out, giving you a good understanding how things are working and you're well on your way to uh, diagnosing or uh, building or troubleshooting your system and uh, getting things done. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like that video if you liked the video and uh, obviously do subscribe if you're new to the channel. And that, uh, thank you much for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next video.